more to it than just wanting wealth and fame. I'm Mary Reed, also known as Mark Reed. Before I became a pirate, I was disguised as a boy. This might be one of the main reasons I was allowed on rat camp, also known as Calico Jack's ship. Although I was a woman, I acted like a man. I participated in every raid, and I almost always dressed as a man on board, even though the crew knew I was a woman. I was one of the most famous female pirates that sailed the seas in the golden age of piracy. During my life, I never gave up, and I made the most out of every situation. Before I became a pirate, I had a complicated past, which probably led to me being a pirate. I was born in the late 1600s to the widow of a sea captain in England, but I was not registered as an English citizen, so there's no record of my birth. Before I was born, my older brother died, so my mother started dressing me as a boy. She wanted financial support from my grandmother on my father's side of the family. She called me Mark. Our family lived a happy life for a while until, in my teen years, the money ran out. To support my family, I got a job as a footman, which is basically a servant. A few, a few <coughs> years later, I found employment on a ship working as a sailor. When I was old enough, I left my mother and joined the British military, but I fell in love with one of the soldiers, so I finally revealed my gender. Hearing this, he fell madly in love with me. Later we, op later, we opened an inn, but sadly, a few months later, my husband died. If this had not happened, I would probably settle in and live a normal life, but there was no such luck. I sold the inn and dressed like a man again. Then, I tried to rejoin the military, but they would not let me in because I had already quit. Instead, I got a ship. A few months later, my ship was attacked by a group of pirates, led by Rackham and Anne Barney, who was also disguised as a man. They took me, my ship, and the crew. They kept us prisoner until later I proved myself as an amazing pirate. They let me join them. Legend has it that Anne Bonnie liked me, so one night she told me she was a woman. Hearing this, I also confessed that I was a woman. We decided to tell Rackham. Grudgingly, Rackham let me stay, not wanting to let another woman on his ship. I proved myself over and over with successful raids, yet he was still questioning my ability. After a while, Anne, Rackham, and I got a ship called The Revenge, and we recruited a crew. I fell in love with one of the new crew members, and we got married at sea, exposing my gender to the crew. Though Rackham doubted me, I proved myself in combats and raids. Our ship was feared by all people and envied by other pirates. Sadly, our time didn't last. One night at a bar, we were celebrating the victory of our latest and last raid, when the pirate hunters finally found us. Surprising us, Rackham and the crew fled, leaving Anne, Bonnie, and I to fight alone. Anne and I were captured, soon followed by Rackham and the crew. We were sentenced to death, but before we could be hung, Anne and I confessed our gender and the fact that we were pregnant. The pirate hunters decided to wait until the babies were born and then planned on hanging us. But I caught a deadly sickness and died a few months later in jail. No one is sure if I had my baby before I died or if I died while I was still pregnant. If I served on a third-rate pirate ship and never held an important position on board, why am I remembered decades later? Most people say it is because of my gender and ruthlessness. They say that Anne and I were two of the few female pirates that actually considered piracy a career. I was persistent in raids and I made the most out of, out of every situation. I died pretty young, but I did the, more than most people do in half of their lives. I am remembered today as the ruthless female pirate who sailed the seas in the golden age of piracy. In my earlier years, I was just a visible. But when I was a pirate, I started revealing my gender, which probably made me famous, because female pirates are so few. I participated in raids and combat, and I lived to keep <coughs> up. I died young, but I lived a dangerous life for, for a long time. Being a pirate can be adventurous and exhilarating. I speak for the pirates. I'm Mary Reed.